Hello everyone, I got a new coin dish. This is 1887 on it. This is the green, the olive green. I already had this amber dish here, which is also a nappy dish. This clear, which is kind of nice, probably my favorite color of them, is this blue. Now, this is 1887 on it. Now, the blue and white one has this ring on the bottom, which isn't quite the same on this one. I think these are different time frames for these. I, there are ways to tell if they're re reproduction, but I don't think these particular ones are. I think these were maybe made later in the run because I have a reproduction example. Notice the coins on this are not frosted at all. And there's air bubbles in it, so here too. It doesn't look bad, but it's... It's just not the same as the other pieces I have that are actually, you know, older. I'm not sure when they started making this reproduction stuff. I don't even think it's made by the same company, but it does resemble the coin glass dishes I have. But these, the coin parts on them are a lot more frosted than what that is. This says 1887 on it, which I think every one of these, that says 1887 on that. This one says 1887. And this one also says 1887. This one's date is also 1887. Now, if you run into a reproduction one that someone's tried to make it look like the older ones, they will sandblast the coins and make them look frosted. Now, when they do that, the little dots around the edge and some of the details on that goes away. So that's one way you can tell if your coin glass has been is re reproduction and been uh, made to look like the old stuff. Now. If I go to ever sell this piece, I will clearly mark it reproduction coin glass. Because I got this mainly for educational purposes. Because I like to teach people about stuff. Coins and silver. And well, I've kind of got into these due to AG Stacker 1776. Now I'm missing a ruby coin dish like this. And the the, what they call emerald green, which is a brighter color. This is kind of dark and olive-ish looking. It's not the collectible color. So that's what I'm looking to get in the future. But for now, that's my video on these because that's what they are. And that's how you tell if you've got reproduction coin glass. It'll look like this with no frosting on it. They're not marked any other way. So that's how you know.